Are you ready? I'm going to show you guys how I do a flawless box braid wig install, making it look like you just came out the shop. Straight scalp. <laughs> I finally got my hands on a box braid wig. This is a 13 by 5 frontal wig unit. I've had cornrow wigs, but I have not had a box braid wig and I've been waiting on it. You can see the inside of the cap here. It does have your typical combs and adjustable bands, but it also has the elastic band in there as well because this unit can be worn completely glueless if you want to. That's right. You only have to do the baby hair if you don't want to fully install the wig. So taking a look before we go ahead and install, seeing how it fits, I'm feeling like, okay, this is just a little bit on the snug side for me. I do believe that has to do with the fact that this is a unit you don't have to glue down, so it needs to be really secure to your head. But if you have a larger head, I will watch for that. As you can see here, we have a bit of a problem. You can see my cap through my wig, and we don't want that, so I'm gonna have to do a bald cap right quick so we can get that together. Okay, let's whip out the Got To Be products and do this bald cap. I'm using the yellow tube gel from Got To Be for the first base layer to do this bald cap. And I don't care about it getting all up in my edges because this is just gel. It comes right out with water. So unless you pull this off, which is essentially waxing your edges, you'll be fine using this within your hair. It's actually made to go in your hair. We just use it for wigs. Then after I do my layer of the Got To Be Gel, I go through with the holding spray and I spray that across my hairline as well. Once you get to blow drying or you can sit under the dryer, it's your prerogative. But I would suggest you make sure that it is fully dry before you start cutting the excess cap off. Reason being is because the drier it is, the less you're gonna have to worry about the cap rolling back on you. Cutting off the excess cap is really, really simple. All you have to do is cut off the excess as close as you can to your hairline. The next step in our bald cap is tinting the cap to match the skin tone. You wanna do that because it gives a more seamless bald cap effect once you put your wig on. You see how you can kind of see how that line is a little bit lighter than my face is? We're going to make that blend out a little bit better. See how much better that looks? Straight scalp, seamless. What wig? Before I install, I'm just gonna clip the hair back and push those baby hairs out of my way because we're not ready for them yet. And then I'm going to use my holding spray and that's what I'm going to use to put this wig down. After the hairline has been sprayed, I'm going to take my edge scarf and I'm going to blow dry the unit dry. I feel like the edge scarf, as many of you probably already know, it helps to make sure that the lace melts into your skin as best as possible. Now that the lace is dry, we are ready to start cutting it off. So pay attention closely. As you can see, I'm trying to use mainly the tips of my scissors. Sometimes I go a little bit farther, but you get more like microscopic control is what I'm gonna call it when you use the tip of your scissors or even just a small pair of scissors. And you wanna do like jagged cuts, kinda cutting in a up and downward motion. And when you do it like that, you create a more natural hairline from your wig instead of it being straight across. The straight across look is what makes it look more wiggish than if you have jagged cuts in your lace. Now we're ready for the baby hair. So what I'm going to do is cut jaggedly the baby hairs that they have out in the wig a lot shorter because I'm not big on like huge dramatic baby hair, but I like some nice little swoops. I am using more of my got to be in the yellow tube to do these baby hairs. And if you don't remember from when I said it in the beginning, you don't have to install this unit. You could literally skip 
the process where I sprayed the wig down to install it and just do the baby hairs. So if you are a beginner, this might be a good unit for you to try because you can skip the whole put down process and go straight to cutting off the lace and doing the baby hair. So because I don't have the option to push back the baby hair that I don't need, I'm just gonna take my tweezers and pluck it out to make it look thinner. After the baby hair is done, then I like to take my blow dryer and blow dry it so it doesn't have like a residue stickiness to it since I use the got to be glued. I'm also taking this time to glue my sides down or gel my sides down, whichever you prefer to say. And the reason I like to do this sometimes after I've installed the front of the wig is because my sides can get a little interesting on me. Sometimes they want to stick out, sometimes they don't. They just need a little extra TLC most of the time. So a lot of times I like to do them after I've installed most of the wig and come back to this portion like you see right now. My favorite thing about this being a 13 by 5 frontal box braid unit is that I can change up the part however I want. As you can see, it came preset in a middle part but you can switch it up however you wanna switch it up. I decided to go with a side part for me. But that's not all. This unit came with a whole assortment of beads. Like, yes, for the freebies here. You can see the full length of the unit here. As you can see, it is a very long one. I am 5'7", and this is where it falls on me. Take a look at this scalp up close and see how much of a difference using a bald cap can make. Sometimes you just gotta go that extra mile to get the job done correctly. You can also wear it the way that it came out of the box, which is in the middle. This is what that looks like. But for me, wearing it to the side, I think was my favorite look to do. This unit is the right amount of full but yet it feels so lightweight, like it does not feel heavy at all. If you're interested in this unit, I will have the details down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Uh, now you say you want me, girl.